the Steelers have proven time and again that they know how to draft They're receivers. Amazing. amazing. They they find guys that others have passed over. They turn them into star players. And now a guy whose name continues to resonate from Latrobe, where it's all about team, and they try to tamp down the hype on any specific guy. It's impossible to slow down the hype train on George Pickens, who is now actually the betting favorite to be offensive rookie of the year. I'm not sure I'd make that bet, but that's – how far the hype has gotten out of control. Here's Deontay Johnson, one of the other receivers that the team has found in the draft, talking about the new arrival. Does anything George do surprise you guys anymore? He's a freak. That's what he is. He's a freak. Uh, uh, That's a special talent, you know. Teach some of the things he does. I'll just just be watching him like, man, I'd be amazed. (laughs) He catches the ball sometimes. Just, he's just young. You can, he, he's getting better on the daily, you know. I'm teaching him uh, certain stuff, and if he asks questions, I'm always there for him. Like I said, he's a freak, freak nature. How much do you think having him is going to help you guys as a whole? It's going it's to be a, a big plus. You know, they're not going to be able to cover everyone, you know, double everyone at the one not so. It's always going to be a one-on-one matchup. It's up to the defense who they're going to cover. <laughs> you mentioned that. You know, Think about the industry. Think about the sport, how competitive it is. You've got a guy who's a receiver who just got his contract. And, and you know, the receivers all want to view themselves as the guy. Right. To hear that kind of praise yeah. be heaped on a guy who just showed up shows you it's undeniable. Right. It, it uh, you know, it's kind of like the way they reacted in Minnesota to Randy Moss. Like, Chris Carter wasn't threatened by him. He knew this guy's special. Yeah, right. From the moment he first saw him play, he knows how special he is. So, that's you've got Deontay Johnson completely and totally in awe of this guy. I'd like to know what Chase Claypool thinks because Claypool hasn't gotten paid yet. Maybe yeah. it's easier for Johnson to be secure in his praise right. of a teammate because right. he knows he's getting thirty six million on his two year extension. But uh, that, that, that's the problem, though. That's why I wouldn't take the bet of offensive rookie of the year for George Pickens. You still only have one football. You got Najee Harris. You got Deontay Johnson, you got Chase Claypool, and you got George Pickens. I don't know how much of an impact Pickens is going to have. Well, it, it gives them a lot of versatility. And, and you know, Mike, to, to what you said, you're, you're, I think you're right. You know, first off, it makes it easier for Deontay Johnson when you are paid to, hey, that, I'm, I'm established here. I'm the guy. They like me to give me that type of money. But, but also, you know, I think it is it, the NFL players as a whole are not haters that way. You know, like you said, they recognize talent. And I think they also look at it through like, you know, a, a glass half full kind of mentality where like, wait, this, this could help me out. This could make life on, on, and for me easier. And I think where I look at it with Deontay Johnson, especially, and where I just look at it, the offense and, you know, something that you've been, you know, pounding the table with all, all off season is don't, you know, don't forget about these damn Steelers. These are the years they surprise people. And man, they, they got a lot of things to like about their team and their roster. And then now you add a George Pickens with a clay pool. And now that allows Deontay Johnson to be a guy that can move to the slot and do some of that in there. Cause he's a great route runner. He's the best route runner they got on their football team. So I think it gives them the versatility that way to now go, whoa, we got, you know, three big time matchups where, you know, maybe if George Pickens doesn't come along, it, it's got to be Deontay Johnson outside and Claypool outside. And then Gunnar Olszewski, who's, you know, showed to look good the other night too. Maybe he's got to work the slot and, and nothing against him, but he ain't Deontay Johnson. So I just think it's going to make their offense that much more explosive, let alone I, I, Mike Tomlin and them want to run the football and do that to where it's almost like you look at it like the, the Philadelphia Eagles, where you just go, whoa, if they can run the ball and Najee Harris and kind of pound the rock that way, it's going to be hard to match up across the board against those three guys one-on-one, and it can make Mitch Trubisky or Kenny Pickett, whoever's starting there in, in Pittsburgh, look very good. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.